Hello and welcome to a new spot in my house. You have technically seen it if you have seen like some of the run-throughs like where I showed off my house, getting ready for pictures. Also, welcome! Did I say that? I can feel that I'm gonna be all over the place today so get, get yourself a cup of tea or whatever you prefer to drink and uh, settle in because uh, I don't even know where to start. I think I'm gonna start with what I'm gonna do currently. Also, this used to be my office, which is now my craft room, but I'm totally hoping that it's not gonna stay my craft room for a very long because I'm really hoping someone will buy my house. That's a huge thing uh, on my mind at the moment. Another huge thing that is huge in a very different way uh, is my netting. I have been Oh, uh, I haven't done a knitting diaries in a while. I know. Oh, and also today is Tuesday 27th of June. That's important for a different reason. Um, <laughs> as I said, all over. Anyway, it's also very warm today. So I'm going to be moving my hair back and forth because it's a lot of it. It's warm. I like it. Yeah, my knitting diaries haven't done them in a while. Also because I've been mostly crocheting. Is that how? Yeah, I think that's how you say it. I've been doing crochet, and I have come to realize that when I I love knitting and I love crochet, make it. There's no doubt about it. I love both of them. However, I have noticed that when I'm knitting, I'm just enjoying my knitting. When I am doing my crochet, however, I am enjoying that too, but a little part of me is like, but I kind of also want to knit. And I have been mostly crocheting since the beginning of May, so only, not only, but mostly crocheting for two months. And apparently, I, um, I needed a bit of knitting, and in my last knitting diaries, I I said that I had bought some new yarn because that's what you do when you have too much yarn, you just buy more. There, at least that's what I apparently did. And I have started. <laughs> and I started on the on oh maybe I should show off the yarn too. On this one. Fable and it's from Drops and oh uh, Here's the tag. I don't know if my camera zooms in. Anyway, that's the yarn I'm using. And it's this gorgeous uh, multicolored blue, different types of blues. I love it. And I've got like, I'm closing in on finishing in on the first ball of yarn. And a ball of yarn is 50 grams. Sounds great. And uh, I mean, and I, I have finally realized why you should do gauge swatching or swatch to know exactly how much sti many stitches you need because I kind of eyeballed it and said, yeah, I'm pretty sure I need like, because I never managed to hit the gauge that is on the wristband. That's not called the wrist, that, the, the paper thing. I never managed to hit that. So I've always kind of mostly just ignored it. So I kind of made a not best estimated guess and said, oh, I probably need like 350 stitches to make my blanket because that's what it's going to be. It's going to be a garter stitch blanket, like super easy. I have 16 balls of yarn, so it's going to be a bigger one. But at the same time, I don't want to be want it to be too big. And also, I, don't, I want it to be rectangular in shape, not like a quadrant. So I don't want four equal uh, sides. I want like kind of this shape. Do uh, this shape. Um, so I was like, oh, 350 stitches. And I cast that on and I realized, oh dear, that's way too many. So, and also I hate having long tails. So this tail is way longer than I would prefer. I would prefer my tail to be like this long. Yeah. That's it. But when you when you cast on a bunch of stitches, it's really hard to like know exactly how 
long of a tail you had. Cast on 350 stitches, realized immediately, not even knitting anything, that that's too many. Took it all out and cast on 320 stitches instead, but the tail was super long. But I thought, well, then, yeah. So I undid those stitches too, and then I cast on a third time, and then I actually started knitting. This is still 320 stitches, because I thought, oh, it's going to be fine. And since my needles are 80 centimeters, I can't like stretch it all out to measure it properly. But now that I knitted almost a ball yarn, I finally could measure it more properly. And my original goal was to have like a blanket that's like 90 times about 120, 130 centimeters. Yeah, this is 110. So it's going to be wrong no matter what I do. So I don't want to show it off. Look at what I did in two days. It's awesome. Now I'm going to pull it all out because it won't fit with the... Uh, and also, I've just spent two days. That's not long. Two days to get all of this. So had this been like 10 years ago, I would not have been doing this. I would just kept going said, well, I've gotten so far. I'm just going to keep going. I've learned that if you don't like something, there's no point in keep going. If you're doing something you don't like, if you have a possibility to change it, you should do that. You should change it. So this was not the right size that I wanted. So I'm taking it all out, as you can see, pushing it off the needles, and I'm going to cast on. Instead of 320 stitches, I have decided to cast on 260 stitches. That should get me uh, approximately what I want. So, yeah. This is not a waste though. And I'm not going to undo it. I'm just going to find the other end and kind of go from there. So that will be... <laughs> the thing is, though, finding the other end... It's not always easy because these balls of yarn are not made for like starting from the middle. They're made from starting from the outside. So there was that. I've started my blanket knitting. I've never knit such a big blanket before. I knit some baby blankets and I realized I've knitted a total of one five baby blankets so far this year. So like almost a baby blanket a month. So yeah, this will be bigger, but I think, I think I'm going to do well. I hope so. And I just realized the mistake. I can't cast on, count, and talk to you guys at the same time. So I'm going to cast on and then I'm going to get back to you and uh, you don't have to watch me cast on. I mean, yeah, you don't need that. But we will talk more about like my house and where it's in the process of being sold when we get back or when I get back, when you get back, when we get back to each other and I'm done casting on. Hold on. Give me a moment. All right, so I cast on twice because the first end was so, so, so long. So I was like, I don't want that, but you know, teeny tiny end, which is actually a little smaller than I intended, but that is fine. I can live with that. Anyway, so that was the knitting that I started and, you know, kind of stopped and started again, I guess. Yeah, and I uh, I have been doing crochet. I'm not going to show it off at the moment. Some of it is packed away in boxes because I needed to get my house picture ready because I'm going to sell it, hopefully. Finish cross, knock on wood, I guess. <laughs> Pretty sure that's wood. Um, but yeah, I... Last showed off my house 
a week. Oh god, it's more than a week ago. But anyway, the photographer came, took indoor pictures. It was not good weather, so he came back a few days later when it was luckily a lot more sunny. So he got to show off my view because I have a nice view that everyone but me loves. <laughs> I think this house deserves someone who actually enjoys the view instead of me that are like, nah, I don't like it. I don't care about it. So yeah, it's uh, it's moving along. Uh, my house has been on the market for a couple of days now. And I can see um, there is a website like everyone posts their uh, houses for sale there not just the, the real estate agents pages, internet pages, but like you have kind of like one collective page for where everyone in this country sells anything and everything, pretty much, including houses. And I can see the statistics. And not a lot of people have said that they're coming to the viewing, uh, which will be happening on Thursday, so two days from now. But several people have downloaded the report on the house, which is a good sign. I kind of wish more people had said that they would come and view the house, but you know, like, you can't have everything. And all I really need is just one person that really wants this house to buy it. That's all I really need to get a sale. If I have like two or more people that really wants it, so they keep bidding a rich at her, raising the price, which makes me more money. I would love that. But, you know, I, I know you can't get everything you want. And I had, uh, out of the four, uh, out of the, we're 52 units in the housing cooperation, if I remember correctly. That's um, where I live. And we have 52 units. I was number four to put my house up for sale. <laughs> uh, the first one had one bedroom, the second had two bedrooms, the third one uh, had four bedrooms, and he has sold, or they have sold, I should say, there are a couple. They sold. I'm number four in the market and I have three bedrooms. I'm really hoping I get to sell too, obviously. And earlier today, because I still haven't gotten a job. I mean, I applied for a job, haven't heard back, and, you know, I'm kind of, right now, I'm just, I, I can't even bother applying for a job because I don't know where I'll be because I really hope I get to sell. And I don't know where I will end up then. So, that's, that's the thing. And, uh, if I'd been further along on this knitting, I wouldn't have to look down so much. But, you know, starting new. Starting new is... Hopefully something I'll be doing on several fronts these days. Um, but yeah, earlier today, I was sitting with my window like a little bit open. I'm not doing it right now because self-conscious because of filming. But I was sitting with my window a little bit open and then I heard some voices outside. And I was sitting on the second floor. Um, and I was like... Who is that? I don't think I know those voices. Poked my head out the window, didn't see anyone. Walked to the other side of my house and poked my head out that window. And there were people there. And it was very, very clear that they were checking out my house. And I think they saw potential in it. I didn't hear a lot of their conversation, but what little tidbits I did manage to picked up on <laughs> because yes I stood by the window and listened for a bit but you know they were out in the open anyone could technically hear them I didn't hear them all that well so I don't know everything but they did seem to think that it had potential so you know there there might be there might be a sale in my future I really really want to sell my house and um I really hope it works. I, I'm also very uncertain what I'm going to do after, what will happen, and everything. Where will I end up? What will I do? I have no idea. 
clearly. <laughs> but yeah, that was, uh, that got my hopes up. I will fully admit, hearing people uh, seemingly seem to think this place had potential, it, it definitely got my hopes up. So yeah, and I mean, it's been on the market. I put it on my Facebook page. We, most of us have them and some friends of mine shared, uh, friends that actually, um, friends and former colleagues that, that live in this town, the city I'm living in, uh, they shared it on Facebook to their friends. So I, I am hopeful. I am hopeful. I had, I definitely had a little bit of time where I was not very hopeful. <laughs> I will admit. I was like, I don't know. It's never gonna work. I'll never sell. I'm stuck here forever. Yeah, the, I, I've definitely had those thoughts. <laughs> uh, but you know. Seeing, seeing the statistics for how many people uh, are looking at the site at least and downloading the report and hearing those people earlier today that seem to think that this house had potential, it makes me hopeful, it makes me very, very hopeful that it will work out, that someone will buy it and uh, I'm always also nervous though. I mean, come on. I yeah. I don't. Or, yeah. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous about like, will I get my asking price? Will they? If two people want it, how much more will I get? And I mean, I I don't know. I'll find out. Because the showing of the house. Uh, Let's just say I'm gonna go for an hour walk on Thursday while the realtor is here and a real estate agent. Is it called realtor or real estate agent? Anyway, you get what I mean. The person selling my house, the person I basically hired to sell my house, uh, she will be here. She will show off the house to the people that hopefully come and really want to buy it. And I'm gonna go for an hour walk so I'm not in the house because, uh, yeah, that, yeah, no. And, you know, that way I won't be able to interfere. And, you know, because there are parts of my house that I really like and then there are some things that I'm not crazy about. Uh, like the view. Everyone is crazy about it. Everyone but me. I find it hard to like, oh, look at my view. But I don't really care about it. I mean, I... I, I, I can lie and convince people pretty well, but I don't feel, even though I'm occasionally good at it, because honestly, I am, <laughs> I can convince people about a lot of things sometimes. I don't understand how they not get it, but I am, I, I, yeah, I, I wouldn't want to be here when my house is showing off, so that's fine. I'm gonna be out of the house while uh, my real estate agent is showing off my house. That will happen on Thursday. So no new puzzles anytime soon, still. Which is why I'm doing knitting, you know? It's easy to like tuck in and hide somewhere. <laughs> Cause you wanna, I, I, you wanna present the house in the best possible way. Make it as spacious and light and airy and pretty as possible. And uh, putting a puzzle on the dining room table, not exactly it. So knitting it is. So yeah, but that will happen on Thursday, the showing. And then on Friday, uh... <sighs> If you believe in any higher powers, pray to them for me on Friday. If I, I believe in the universe. I believe that the universe is trying to kick my butt sometimes. I don't always like it, but sometimes it's for my own good. I know. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed and saying I have faith in the universe that on Friday 
on Friday afternoon, I will know. I'll, I'll know either way, but I really hope the answer is yes, I sold for many, many monies. That would, uh, that would make me very happy. And uh, keep your fingers crossed for me, because, uh, yeah, that will, uh, that will lead to a new adventure, you know, for all of us. Because <laughs> I'll bring you along, because it's fun. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm nervous. I, for a while there, yes, I know, I've been negative. I'm sorry, it happens. I'm human. It's what we do sometimes. And I have been, like, so scared. And, like, what if it all falls through and not working and, like, oh, negativity. A lot. And I've been so scared of making the wrong choice. So for a long time, honestly, I wanted to sell for years, but I've been scared, so I hadn't. But now that I finally made the decision, I'm like, yeah, this is the right decision. And I think I mentioned it before, when I told my friend that I had decided to sell, her first reply was, finally. <laughs> so, yeah, finally. And, yeah, I've been, I've been scared about it, but now, I'm not scared anymore. I'm more like, I, I'm nervous. I mean, how is it gonna, how is it gonna go? Is anyone want, will anyone want to buy it? Will I, will I sell? I mean, there is nerves about that. I'm nervous about that, but I'm also excited. And I think I'm just ready for a change. And I'm someone who loves routines and like systems and order and stuff like that. So me being ready for a change, You know it's about time. Me being actually ready for a change and really, really wanting this change is a good sign that it should have happened several years ago, but, you know, one thing at a time, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, what will happen? I don't know. I'm hoping to sell. I will sell, okay? Let, let us just, uh, what's the word, visualize me selling the house. I will have the number on Friday on how oh, how much I sold the house for. It's gonna be awesome. And I have... <laughs> I've kind of told myself that on Friday, when I know that I've sold, I'm gonna walk down to the grocery store, buy a couple of beers, and just sit outside and just drink a beer. Just because a celebration. And... Yeah, I'm not saying that I can't drink beer otherwise. I totally can't. It's just, I don't know. I feel like I want to make it special. And beer is kind of expensive. Well, everything is expensive these days. So, yeah. But, yeah. Oh, I can't wait until drinking that victory beer on Friday. <laughs> I really can. And then... You know, when I know how much I sold for, I know what I can start looking for to buy, and I will also know when the buyers will take ownership, when I have to be out of here, you know? That's gonna be, oh God, that's gonna be a process. I still have a ton of stuff. Like, right now it doesn't look like I have so much stuff because it's put in boxes. It's in storage rooms in the house, it's in the attic, it's like... I showed things wherever I could to make it look uh, presentable and spacious. So everything just ended up in boxes, animas, and like up in the attic, and I don't know what is where. So that's gonna be, um, yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna be a little challenging. Uh, I'm kind of hoping whoever buys it wants to take ownership September 1st because if they want to take ownership August 1st that would mean I would only have had a month to go through all my things because that's something I've decided that I want to do. I want to go through absolutely everything and decide if I want to sell it, uh, donate it, 
toss it in the garbage because I'm sure there is something or keep it. And I want to go through absolutely everything that I own and I mean, I live alone in a house with three bedrooms, several storage spaces, an attic. I guess in this case I'm actually, I think this is the first time I'm happy I don't have a basement. Because I've been wanting a basement and I really want a basement because storage and also food storage for when I grow a lot of food. I haven't been able to do that here, but you know. So I guess right now is the one and only time I'm happy I don't have a basement. Because I can guarantee you if I had had a basement, it would have been full of stuff. Because that's what I do. And I think you're about to cut me off. Hold on. You weren't about to cut me off, but also my battery is dying, so I guess this is the video. Uh, this is what you're getting today. I'm nervous. I'm excited. I uh, hope you would be willing to keep your fingers crossed for me, both on third. And you're dying. Thank you.